folks. Map Man, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about maps are high tech. Maps are high tech. Maps have always used the latest and greatest technologies, whether it was wood blocks or film or paper and now computers to map our planet and everything that's over it, above it, under it, and on it, and other planets as well. We're mapping Ganymede, we're mapping the, the moon, we're mapping Mars, we're mapping the solar system, we're mapping our near set of galaxies close to us. So maps are high tech. They've always been high tech. Nowadays we can use maps in the context of a geographic information system where we're looking at the world in two dimensions and three dimensions and even four dimensions, the time dimension. We're using geographic technologies, geotechnologies or geomatics, all terms for geographic information systems which is a computer mapped database that gives you information about real-time data like traffic and earthquakes and, and weather all the way up to data that's been there for thousands of years. For example, geologic faults and oceans and so on, eco-regions. So maps have always been high tech. Now we can use GPS or global positioning systems and satellite imagery like the one that's depicted on this globe right here and two-dimensional and three-dimensional map content, rivers, mountains, highways, ecoregion boundaries, locations of minerals, locations of people and how they move over time, all kinds of things using in a high-tech environment. Lots of career options when you're using high-tech maps, digital maps. And also these maps are able to be accessed on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop, in near real time or sometimes real time because the earth is changing, right? We've got lots of things that are changing by the minute, like wildfires or weather or ocean currents. So for example, we recently sent a whole bunch of people to map hurricanes. Why? Because people needed those maps. They needed them for saving lives and mitigating property loss. So maps are high tech. Thanks.